Did you know the Emperor Valley Zoo is named after a butterfly? In this week's Keeping It Green segment, Ian Wallace looks at diversity of local butterflies. When next you visit the Emperor Valley Zoo, look at its logo. There's a butterfly in the logo, known locally as the Emperor. It's fairly common in all valleys and forests of Trinidad and Tobago, and some species of Emperor butterfly vary by color. You can find butterflies nationwide. The most common is called the postman. The local butterfly population numbers 623 species, and you can find nearly all in one place the Angostura Museum and Barcar Butterfly Collection in Laventil, Port of Spain. It houses approximately 5,000 specimens, collected from over 30 countries around the world, creating the largest collection of butterflies in the Caribbean. By collecting specimens through sweep, netting or breeding, local butterfly collector Malcolm Barcar and associates have put thousands within rows of display cases called Riker Mounts. Papapilionidae is the scientific name for the large family of butterflies. The genus is a category that ranks below family and above species. Thanks to Barkhardt successfully crossbreeding a local emperor or blue morpho with one from Brazil, this local blue morpho has no row of white spots. Then there's the very rare banknote blue, as it's called locally for obvious reasons. And there's an extremely rare species found in 1934 along the Blanchichers Road. And one new species carries the collector's name, Pachyton barcanti teat. Butterfly species vary by food source. In coconut fields around Trinidad, the Brasilis sephore, the coconut butterfly, even looks like a coconut husk. Species vary also by location. In the northern range at St. Anne's Peak, we find the very rare northern white page, and in southern Trinidad, the southern white page. The now out of print Butterflies of Trinidad and Tobago by Barkamp carefully identifies the local and Latin names of the species and its geographic location in the country. Butterfly collectors and researchers can still access the records of the butterfly specimens, however, as part of the University of the West Indies Zoology Museum. By tracking the biodiversity of local butterflies, researchers can then help to conserve our natural history. I am Ian Wallace, keeping it green for TTT News. the look and smell of litter. From this huge pile, I can see that many people also find it attractive. Yes, Charlie. Litter is indeed attractive. It attracts roaches, flies and mosquitoes, and rats. My pets. Don't be a litter bug, Charlie. Do the right thing. Don't litter. You know what they say, the best deal comes in threes. And when you sign up for Flow Select Broadband Plan in April, you get three months of discounts, 300 megabits per second, and over $300 in savings. You can stream the match in one room, the latest movies in the other, all while the kids game online. Do it all when you sign up for Flow Select Broadband Plan this April. Visit in-store or online at discoverflow.co for more info. Flow, working for you on the largest high-speed network.